Hi y'all, it's Rachel here with Scientifically Engineered and today I wanted to swatch the new calligraphy inks that will be dropping from Ferris Wheel Press. There are four new calligraphy inks. Um, they dropped these a little while ago in all pastel colors that were related to wedding type events and now there are four new colors that are more moody and deep toned and these are related to um, kind of like elegant parties like galas and tea time and soiree, etc. Um, as a disclaimer before we start, these are not fountain pen inks. Ferris Will Press does sell a lot of fountain pen inks, but these are calligraphy inks. You do not want to put these inks in a fountain pen nib. You do not want to put these inks anywhere where you're not going to wash them off of the utensil immediately. These are more akin to like an acrylic paint than they are like a water-based ink. So I just wanna put that out there. What I am using today is going to be the Browse Blue Pumpkin ornament or Blue Pumpkin nib. Um, there are other nibs. This is a Browse Rose or something like that. Um, but you wanna put this in something that is made for calligraphy ink, not fountain pen ink. So with that said, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm just using um, regular, I think this is maybe 120, maybe 160 GSM um, art paper, watercolor type paper. Um, yeah, I went ahead and I already did some swatching. Uh, the main swatches you see here are just straight up the ink. The second one is another line of the ink and the third one is a watered down version of the ink. To start off, we're gonna do Golden Gala. Golden Gala is an olive green toned color and it's got some gold shimmer in there. These bottles are 28 mils. They are faceted gold bo or, uh, glass bottles with a brass top and a plastic stopper to help you try to contain the mess. So you just go ahead and you dip your nib into the ink and then we get started. I'm gonna go ahead and move you a little bit closer. Let's see. All right, so again, like I said, this ink here, this is Ferris. What did I say this was? This is Golden Gala. Now, if you're a fountain pen user and you haven't quite dabbled in calligraphy inks yet, there is a bit of a learning curve, learning curve. So don't get dis discouraged if um, you start using them and it doesn't turn out perfect. It just takes a little bit of practice working with these ultra flexible nibs. There's Golden Gala. The next ink we've got is Tea Time Teal. And shake this one quite enough. This is a teal color with, it says it's gold shimmer, but it really feels to me, can you see that? like a green shimmer, but greenish gold shimmer nonetheless. So we'll shake it up well. People use inks like these for a lot of different types of things. Um, one of the big ones I think is any type of thing where you would want nice but organic handwriting. Think like birthday or wedding invitations and things like that but it's also just very relaxing and a lot of fun. And I think it goes with the fountain pen hobby pretty well. So what did I say this ink's called? Tea Time Teal. I will also note I am writing quickly 
You know, it seems pretty slow. Uh, but when you use a nib like this, you typically want to write pretty slow to get everything uniform and nice. I'm, I'm writing a little bit quicker than you would um, if you wanted to use these inks uh, just for the sake of getting the video out there <laughs> so that we're not here all day watching me write the name of these inks. And I'll go back up and I'll look at all of them at the end. Next we have Celestial Soiree. This is a navy blue with it's supposed to be silver shimmer, I believe, but again, it looks blue to me. That could also just be a little bit of an eye trick because it definitely looks blue. These inks will be released on October 6th and they will be on ferrisworldpress.com. If you are interested in these inks or if you are just looking to purchase anything else, from Ferris Wheel Press, I do have a discount code. My discount code is SE, just the letter S and E for scientifically engineered. And it will get you 10% off pretty much the whole site. Um, it does not have to be these inks. You can get anything that you have been looking at and you get 10% off and it helps me out a lot. All right. That is Celestial Soiree. This is a very elegant color. I could see this being something that a lot of people would use for an event like a wedding. Since it is a fairly neutral color, it's still blue, but nothing too crazy. But it just gives kind of a pop of elegance to it, I think. And lastly, making a mess here, we have... Black Masquerade, which is a black ink with a little bit of silver shimmer in there. And this is my favorite, I think, which is funny because typically I don't really like black inks because I think they're a little boring. But for something like this, I think it is very classic, very timeless, and very um, just universal. I think anybody could use this ink for pretty much anything. And it's very nicely formulated. Uh, in fact, this is probably one of the inks that I might purchase when it drops just by already having a bottle. Because I think that this will be one that I will use and, and need more of. Because I don't know how to explain it but it's it's kind of hard to explain <laughs> but it's it's shiny and it's raised off the paper in a way that is very very similar to acrylic paint but it just looks very I maybe I'd say like satin it's like a very satin finish I don't know how to smell masquerade apparently and it's formulated really, really well. So um, I think this is gonna be the one that goes the fastest. It's nothing glitz and glam and shimmery and shiny, but it is beautiful and very well formulated. And I don't know, I think they did a really good job on that ink in particular. All right, so we'll go back up to the top and I'll show you them one by one. So this is Ferris Wheel Press Golden Gala. The undertone still does have some green to it, but I would say that this comes out and reads pretty gold on gold. Lots of gold shimmer and the undertone is not quite yellow. It's kind of got that green to it. So it, it's kind of the color of gold and very nice, very shimmery. Next is Tea Time Teal. It's a very dark, Teal with that golden greenish shimmer, very whimsical. Next is the Celestial Soiree, elegant navy with some blue silver sh uh, shimmer. And then my favorite, the Black Masquerade, 
I don't know if you can see, it's just like, it's not super shiny, but it's not quite matte. And I just think it looks really professional and pigmented. All right. A couple of the things about these inks that are nice and good to note is these inks are waterproof. So I'm gonna just take some water on my brush here. I will note that there is some color to the water because I have been <laughs> using it. Um, but I just wanna show you how when the ink is dry, let's make sure it's dry. It is waterproof. And this is unlike most fountain pen inks. Again, this is not a fountain pen ink, but it's unlike most fountain pen inks where if you were to use like watercolor per se over one of your fountain pen inks, it would reactivate that ink. And so if you wanted to write some words out, let's see which one of these has dried, press has dried. And then you wanted to do some watercolor over it or something, and you went a little crazy here with some water, normally it would reactivate and that water would lift off of the page. Or vice versa, if you were to do a watercolor base and then try and write with fountain pen ink over it, um, what you would see is that ink would reactivate the watercolor underneath it and you would get a bit of a mess. So these are nice if you are trying to do something with another type of paint or watercolor over the top or underneath um, using these kind of more, I don't know if these are actually acrylic based, it might be like an oil or something, but they do not reactivate with water. So yeah, thanks y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Again, my code is SE. If you do end up making any purchases off of Ferris Wheel Press, and if you just hung out to hang out, I appreciate the time and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.